Hi, welcome to another Nico How To Guide. Today we're in the house of sustainability guru Michael Mobs, uh, who believe it or not has some halogen downlights installed in his house. Uh, what we're going to do is show you how, to, how easy it is to retrofit a halogen downlight with an ultra compact fluorescent downlight, which uses about a sixth of the energy and lasts for about 15 times longer than the conventional cheap uh, halogen globes. And before we start, I should advise that all work we're doing today should be done by a qualified electrician. So the first thing we've got to do is extract the existing fitting and have a look at it and find out what we can do with it. Now some of these may be very sticky, very old, uh, very burnt uh, and very hard to get out. And I'm sure most of you have had this experience of not being able to actually uh, get the things apart to change the globe. So let's see what we've got here. I know for a fact that these have been in for about 15, 20 years and they probably were efficient when uh, Michael Mobs first installed them. So what I'm going to do, I can't seem to prise the outside rim out, I'm going to take out the glow, like so, put that away, and now I can get my fingers inside to actually pull the unit down. Now, don't use a screwdriver up against the jip rock around here because you'll, you'll damage it. So, the idea is you've just got to be able to get your fingers underneath and slowly withdraw the unit. And as it comes out, you'll see that there are some spring clips on either side. Now, depending on the state of the jip rock, it will come out quite easily if you just hold these springs in. And this one is looking particularly old and soft and rotten. And here it is, it's out. So all you have to do is just withdraw the fitting. Here's the connector to the old halogen downlight and we'll deal with that in a second. Okay, so now we've got the actual light fitting out, we're going to have a look at what's behind there. So, what we're going to do is withdraw the transformer, which can either be a large black thing, or any colour thing such as this. Uh, this is a ferrous core transformer, and these typically add an extra 6 to 16 watts of energy consumption onto the halogen downlight. So in effect it's making that little globe uh, use more energy than a single 60 watt normal light globe. Uh, you can get uh, much smaller units about the size of a small chocolate bar which are electronic transformers and they'll use between 2 and 5 watts. Uh, but even so you're still looking at a minimum of about 56 watts for a, a 50 watt halogen downlight. So I'm just going to pull this out. Now what should come out at the end of this, this being the 240 volt cable, is either a plug and a socket, there we are, we're lucky, or it will be hardwired in. Now at this stage, well, everything I'm doing does not need, need an electrician. I can unplug that and I can have a look at this. Now if it was hardwired in, uh, you'll need an electrician to uh, wire in the new unit. Okay, now, so we've got the unit out, we've got the transformer, the plug, the old connector for the low voltage, and the actual downlight fitting. Now, because these are so old, I can't see any slot for a 240 volt adapter, and I'll just grab you one. This is a 240 volt adapter, and normally, in a modern downlight, you'll have a little lug, such as this, which is where you can actually plug in, sorry, locate the 240 adapter uh, and a little screw goes in there. If you, if you don't have this on your older fittings then you're going to need to buy a new fitting. Now these cost, this one here for example is about $10 um, in white. And obviously if you've got uh, brass fittings or some special fittings, architectural fittings, you may want to consider um, either 
uh, getting somebody to do to drill a hole in the unit for you so that you can mount this or get your electrician to do it so that you can mount it. It's not an electrical requirement, it's, it's merely a bracket for holding uh, the unit on. So these particular units don't have that uh, locating lug, so what we're going to do is use a new combined unit. This is basically just uh, an all-in-one pre with the bracket pre-screwed on for you. So what we need to do, if I just remove the cover, you'll see there that there's a connector block. There's, there's no electronics in here, it's just merely a connector block. So what we need to do is take the plug and cable that went into the transformer and screw that into the unit there and then we bypass the transformer and we have a straight 240 volt unit. Okay, so here's the bit the electrician has to do. Uh, they'll have to prepare the end of the wires on the 240 cable and wire that into the connector block on the actual downlight fitting. So what we're going to do here is just pop each of the twisted ends of the wires into the connector block. Very simple, just the same as a wiring a plug. Live goes into the live and neutral goes into the neutral. cable clamp. And this keeps the flex itself secure and stops it dragging the wires out of the connector block that I've just wired. So that's it, as simple as that. That's pretty much all the electrician has to do and as you can see it only took me about a minute. So don't let them overcharge you. So you'll see now we've got a completed unit ready to go. Now I'll just show you the difference between a 240 volt connector and a low voltage connector. You can see that there's very small pins. This is for the low voltage connector because it is a low voltage. And for the GU10 unit, uh, you can see that there's much larger connectors. Now these have particular names. GU10, as I've just mentioned, is the name given to this particular type of 240 volt fitting. It's basically like two little uh, screws almost sticking out the top of the lamp. Uh, and this is called an MR16 low voltage connector. Now, now we'll put the lamp into the actual unit. You can see there's a spring clip. You just pop it in there, pull out the spring, nice and easy and put on the connector which is just a twist and turn like so there we go completed down like ready to go okay so we've got our completed down light ready to go all we need to do is plug it in to the socket push the socket up into the roof or ceiling space, as it is otherwise known. Now here's the tricky part. You've got to pull back the spring clips on each side and hold them there with your thumb and your first finger. And you need to hook in the connector block. A bit fiddly, guide in the springs and as it starts to go in, I just need to turn this around a little bit, there we are. Bit of jiggery pokery, and there we are. 
a downright fitted. So here we are, two completed energy efficient downright retrofits. We were using 132 watts of energy for both of these lamp fittings, now we're using 22 and that's efficient.